recording in progress. This is the precision harvesting uh, training module. So I'm just going to quickly flip my camera over and I'm going to walk you through how to train a group on the precision harvesting training module. So here we go. Right. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is, and they're going to write this. Uh, so you're you're going to be at the board, obviously, and this is represents the whiteboard. And uh, well, you can't see it back around there, but uh, and so everyone's going to have a sheet of paper. You're going to have them turn their paper uh, landscape, and then you're going to write here at the top precision. see that there precision harvesting and you might want to have this written out beforehand it would just save you time you put a little box around just like that and then underneath there you want to write the question what right here let me write it here what was jesus using to filter people. That's a hard uh, thing to word to use, but it is clearly seen in scripture that Jesus was was filtering uh, for people. And so what we're going to do is after that, I want you to put number one and um, I want you to put this passage here, Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 through 38, and then John chapter 6, 52 through 67, and then what I want you to put under here, Jesus used. All right, pretty simple. And then number two, I want you to write another set of verses. Matthew chapter 13, verses 9 through 17. And Mark chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. And um, Mark chapter 4, verse 33 through 34, and then write, Jesus used. Underneath that, okay? And then number three, um, we're back in Mark again. Mark chapter three. I'm sorry, my bad. Take that back. Chapter 10. I should remember these. 17 through 23, and then Luke 9, 57 through 62, and then write Jesus used. Okay, so you're going to have this written up on the board. Okay, and they're writing this down too. So if you can have this written beforehand, it would certainly save you a lot of time. But this is the question we're asking as we read it. What was Jesus using to filter people? So Matthew chapter, you know, they, they read it and they go, hey, okay, what was he using? here? Okay. And then in these passages, what, what did Jesus use to filter for people? And then this last one, what was Jesus using to filter? Who Basically, he was using something to filter to find out who to spend time with, right? Now, some of these are not going to be really, really clear, but that's all right. Let them struggle through it. It, it creates a little bit of tension. And so as we read through these passages, um, give them, I don't know, this would probably take about 10 minutes to do that, okay? And while they're doing that, what you're doing on the other side of the board is you're creating, while they're doing this, they're working at their table, you're going to create a triangle over here, right here. Looks just like this. You're going to be drawing this, right? And I want you to put at the top of the triangle... Once you put 5,000, all right, 4,000, and then um, once you put the word multitudes, 
uh, or crowds, it depends on the translation, multitudes, then I want you to put 500, then I want you to put 120, then I want you to put 72, then I want you to put 12, and then I want you to put three, all right? And this, uh, this represents the, the groups of people Jesus spent time with. Right? Fair? So as they're doing this, you're writing this on the other side of the board. All right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to have that written. And um, then... Uh, you're going to come back to this so that you're writing this while they're doing working through these verses at their table. And so let's go through uh, what we see here. And in Matthew chapter 10 and John chapter six, um, these are some really difficult things that Jesus said. In fact, they don't make sense. Like, for instance, John chapter six, drink my blood and eat my body. And so we're going to call these hard sayings, meaning they just they just don't make sense. In fact, they. You might even say they're they're uh, something a crazy person might say. Who says eat my body and drink? So Jesus was intentionally throwing out statements that were meant to really kind of thin the pack. And in fact, they were statements that wouldn't make sense at that time. They made sense maybe a few years later. But we see these statements throughout Scripture, where there's just they just they take faith to understand, and so. We see here is some really hard sayings. Now here, this is where Jesus is telling the parables. And what we notice with these parables is he doesn't explain them to the crowd. And he waits for his disciples to come back later that evening. And so what he's using here are, are these parables to uh, kind of thin the crowd uh, again Who's going to come up and ask me what they mean? He's waiting for people to come. Hey, what did you say? Those people that came and wanted more information that were, they were like, we caught the cat scratching on the back. I want to know more though, by using parables, he began to find for those people. And then this last one, and this last one is very similar to this first one, but we're going to call this um, hard calls or, um, or, or lordship. Uh, he's calling you some hard obedience. All right. And so, um, so you fill that in. All right. And that's going to create a little discussion. All right. Maybe a little bit, any clarification as a group, we'll, we'll talk about this and you can walk through that. So, and then we're going to move over here. We're going to show this from scripture that Jesus really spent time with several different size groups, obviously the five and the 4,000. Well, those were probably much larger. They're probably in the 20,000, but we know that was men. And so we see this slow, that Jesus spent time in certain size groups. And so this is groups of people Jesus spent time with. So what you're going to do while you kind of walk through that, you're going to, you're going to then go, this is what we observe in scripture. You're going to create another triangle and put it in a different color. And do an inverse triangle. And this represents the amount of time Jesus spent with these groups. And I think you guys can see the demonstrable pattern here. Jesus spent very little time with the large groups. Um, his quality most, I mean, is with just a few. As we work our way down the size of the group, his time begins to expand in how much he gives us. So at this point, as a group, what are our takeaways? What are we from this passage? And so you'll discuss that as a group. You know, things we're looking for um, are, uh, how, how are you filtering? In terms of how, who you spend time with, who, what are your filters? 
Uh, what are, what do you what obedience are you looking for? Um, are are your filters finding the right people, the doers? Right. The, the, the reality is, is we can't spend time with everybody. I mean, it, it, people like play golf or whatever, but we need to establish filters for who we spend our quality time with. Right. And I also often ask, uh, why do we call this precision harvesting tool? Right. And so that's basically the precision harvesting. You're just walking through the self-discovery and pointing these things out and then listening to the group's takeaways, which ultimately the million dollar one is, is um, what are your filters? For meeting with people. If Jesus had filters, so should you. So if you have any questions with that module, it's uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, please don't hesitate to call me or email me and I can answer any of your questions. I hope that helps.